Hi, third grade. This is Mrs. Warren coming to you to explain your reading assignments for this week, your first week back. After break. So we are going to start a new novel called Ramona Quimby, age eight by Beverly Cleary. Here's my copy. Mine's already all marked up. I'm loving reading Ramona Quimby, age eight. If you don't have a paper copy, you can access it on Epic. Epic Books. It will be assigned to you by your homeroom teacher. So you'll find it in your assignments or in your mailbox. It'll be right there. So we're going to start off this week by just reading two chapters. So on Monday, I suggest that you read chapter one. And when you're done with chapter one, you can go ahead and complete this vocabulary activity. So there are are four vocabulary words that you're gonna find in the story. The first word is accuracy, quivery, ferocious, and astonishment. Now that I'm looking at it, I think I may have ferocious spelled wrong. I'm gonna to need to check that. So these are your four vocabulary words. I want you to find them in the book, and then I want you to draw a picture to illustrate the meaning of the word. So to help you truly understand the meaning, I suggest you go back and find it in the text. Um, you can do this on Monday if you want, or you can wait till Tuesday. It's up to you, your call. Then on Tuesday, you're gonna do a character traits lesson. And we've done character traits before. So here is a handy dandy list of character traits that you can reference. You can print it out, <clears throat> excuse me, or just look at it on your computer. While you're looking at this character trait sheet, you are going to complete this. So what I'm gonna ask you to do is write three of the character traits that would describe Ramona Quimby. So maybe she's gentle or friendly or cheerful or charming or confident, whichever three you wanna pick, list them right here. Then you're going to circle one that you can find evidence from the text. So say, for instance, I chose the one curious. I want to find text evidence for the character trait curious. So I'm going to circle curious. And I know when I read chapter one, Ramona was really curious about going to her new school. So my text evidence would be in this box, I would write uh, Ramona was curious about her new school and her new teacher. Right. That was evidence from the text. You can even find a sentence in the book to describe that character trait. You're going to do the same thing for Beezus. You're going to come up with three character traits to describe her, but the one you're going to circle is the one that you can give text evidence from. And text evidence, again, is evidence from the book. So hope that makes sense. All right, then you're going to do Mr. Quimby and Mrs. Quimby. And then you're going to go on and do Willa Jean Kemp, Howie Kemp, Grandma, which is Mrs. Kemp, Danny, and let me see if I can, oh, I can't scroll down. Hold on, guys. Mrs. Whaley. I'm going to move down there. Mrs. Whaley. Okay. So again, three character traits. Circle the one that you want to give text evidence for. And then you write the text evidence in this box. All right. So that gets us caught up. For our Tuesday assignment, Tuesday's assignment is the character traits. Then you're going to read chapter two on Wednesday. And then you're going to do this vocabulary activity. You can do it on Wednesday or you can wait and do it on Thursday. Your call. That's the perk of distance learning, right? Um, you are going to look up these books, these words in the story, excuse me, exasperation, teetered, wistfully and seized. So I've given you the definition and the part of speech. This time you're going to definitely go back in the book and find it and write the sentence from the text where the word is being used. So you're going to actually go back. Let's see. I already have mine marked, which you might have to look on Epic and that's okay. But if you see right here, Howie's House, chapter two, there's the word exasperation. So I would write on those lines, Mother, do you have to say that every morning? She asked in exasperation. 
So that's what I would be writing on those lines, the sentence from the book where you find the vocabulary word. You guys are gonna do awesome. And then you're gonna move on. On Thursday, you can do this. This is a little comprehension sheet. You're gonna list two of the good things and two of the bad things that Ramona talks about in third grade. I don't want two of the good things or bad things about your third grade, but Ramona's third grade. And then you're gonna answer the following questions in complete sentences. And as we talked about in writing incomplete sentences, it means borrowing words from the question and using a capital and period. So if you look at this very first question, what does DEER stand for? You would regurgitate those words in your answer. So your answer would say, DEER stands for blah, 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 whatever your answer is. All right. Just like here. What did Ramona prefer to call deer? Ramona preferred to call deer blah, blah, blah. All right, use the words from the question in your answer using capitals and periods. So this is a two page document. You're gonna do these questions and these questions on Thursday after you have read chapter two. I hope you'll enjoy Ramona Quimby, age eight, as much as your teachers are. Um, good luck, happy reading.